Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got when I went to the bins a second time last week. I went to a different location and got a lot of stuff. So if you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it's not a real commitment. It just means you'll get notified when I post videos. You can also always find me on Instagram at Nicole Mirth Garden. Here we go. show you what I got in my second trip to the Goodwill Outlet bins last week. I went to a different location than I normally do and they had lots of good stuff. My total was $15.65 and I didn't get like many things but I did get some heavy thing. Well actually one really heavy thing so that's what the lion's share of that total was made up from. First I'm going to show you the not Christmas items. So I checked out the books and I got some good vintage kids books. So I got The Riddle Kingdom, and it says Scholastic Book Services, and it is was published in 1967, and the inside looks like this, and it just has interesting sketches, illustrations, and here's the back cover. Then the second one I got, I got because it had some pretty pictures. It says, Why Birds Migrate. And this one's by Julian May. And it says, A Holiday House Science Book, published in 1970. A lot of times with the vintage books, um, I get them for the illustrations. And like, I'll just prop this open, you know, on a, a shelf, especially on like um, a bookshelf where I'm doing a display. It just acts as a nice backdrop, especially for me, because um, one of my main shelves that I display on is black and I really intend to paint it, but I haven't gotten it done yet. So things like this are great because it lightens up the backs of the shelves and gives the eye something to look at. The light can bounce off of it and um, just interesting. And then this one I just got because I remember it, um, Mickey's Magnet. And I'm just going to put this in my, I have a small collection of vintage kids books that I'm just holding on to for when I'm a grandma someday. Um, 1956 is the copyright. And if you remember these pictures at all, I certainly do. So that's that one. And then, oh my now this one I adore and I'm putting this one out in my Christmas displays. Holy cow. Look at that. Baby animal friends. I actually might set it out with my fall stuff because I ha I love deer. And so I have a whole little vignette with deer in it as already, which I'm going to use in Christmas time, but I'm going to change it up. It has some pumpkins with it. I'm going to take that out and put some Christmas greens. Um, but I'm definitely going to use this with that. And the other book that I got is fascinating. It says experiences with clothing and it's by L. Bell Pollard. I think the pictures are fantastic. There's like color photos from I guess the 60s. Let's see what the year on this is. 1961. It talks about, you know, planning out your wardrobe and it's almost like a capsule wardrobe from 1960. This is not a new concept. So I just think it's an interesting historical record about how we taught women to look at themselves and, you know, to think about how they dress themselves. It's just interesting to me. So then I also got this. This was one of the heavier items, but um, I thought it was cool. And I think it's going to be really pretty in the spring with some flowers in it. And I can use it if I treat it, if I um, seal it, I can use it outside without it getting rusty or I can use it inside. It would be nice on the back of a toilet. So I haven't quite decided yet, you know, cause you could put like toilet paper and, you know, feminine supplies and the things that people might need, guests uh, might need when they come to your house. It's always nice to keep those things out so people don't feel like they have to like go in your cabinets. Um, so that might be nice or to put towels or washcloths. Um, so that's probably, that might be what I do with it or I might put flowers in it, I don't know. Just think it on the go here. Okay, then I also got this, it's a Gemco food chopper. And I'm going to list this on probably my Etsy shop. I have sold one before, so I'm going to list that. It's in really good shape. I'm not sure if anyone ever used it. I have one that I use that I got from my mother-in-law. Um, so I don't personally need another one, but they're useful. If you don't want to big out, bring out like a big appliance, 
nice to have one of those on hand. Then you might have seen a few weeks ago, I got a little Mormon's salt vessel. Like it holds salt on your counter. Um, then I found, and someone explained to me that Mormon's is like a, was a farm supply or feed supply company in Illinois or something. And they put out a whole bunch of like promotional merchandise um, back in like the seventies and eighties. And so I'm just going to keep my eye out for it. It's, I liked collecting things that are like, you know, local to the area or to the region. And so this is definitely one of those things. It has some kind of, I'm sure one of you knows, that must be some kind of pottery company, but I'm not familiar with that mark. So maybe if you know, you can let me know. But I think it's really neat. And so that's just for our personal use. Then I got these to resell. These are just um, Fire King. Nope, that's wrong. Glass bake stackable coffee mugs. I think they're really cool. I've toyed with keeping them, but because I thought, oh, I could put like candy canes in one on a tiered tray. It's a nice size for that, but I probably won't keep them. But I haven't, I haven't committed yet. I got these, which seems random. They are old tennis rackets, and I have something planned for these. So look for that in a, an upcoming DIY. Oh, and this one is Rod Lover, Laver, I don't know, I don't know tennis players, and it's by Kemold, Kemold Elite, and then this one is Laminated Construction Autograph Free Swing, that's all that it says. Now I will move on to the Christmas items. So the heavy thing I mentioned, oh, I love this is this ceramic Christmas tree and it doesn't have its base and it's missing a lot of lights, but it only has surprise. I mean, I can't, I don't even know how it was intact because it was clearly thrown into the bin that it, that I found it in it has one chip and it's not even broken. It's really just the paint that chipped. Um, so I'm going to just touch that up and then you can buy these replacement bulbs at Michael's. You can also buy them on Amazon, but um, Jamie from Border Bananas showed me a picture. She uh, found them at Michael's. So I'm going to pick some of those up and I checked it out. I have um, some of those village lights, you know, um, and like, I guess originally it was a taller bulb that you'd put in here, but the village light, the little, like, it's like a bulb that's like this big and you use them to light your village houses. It works just fine. Like it lights all the way to the top. I already tried it out. So I'm just going to use one of those and you don't really need a base. Um, you just don't need it. And then also I thought it was interesting because this one says Atlantic mold and it says 1976. So that was my first Christmas. Where's the Atlantic mold? Somewhere on here. Ooh, I can't find it in the camera. Oh, here. That's where it says. Sorry, I've been painting. If you see paint on my hands, I've been crafting. So anyway, so it's from my first Christmas, which I thought was fun. Okay, then I also got this and it's just a decorative plate. I actually got it in its box. It's called Fire in the Snow, My Backyard Wilderness Collection, a third of four plates, songbirds. And I wouldn't collect all of them, but you know, I love cardinals. Oh, and I love the tree with the snow. I just think it's very fitting and appropriate for where I live. We definitely, it looks like this in the winter here. So I thought that was really pretty. And I'm going to hang that on the wall with the, with the plate hanger that I found the other in the other bins hall. So, okay. Then I got this. Oh, I'll show you these two. And then there's some things that take a little longer. I got this cutie vintage Christmas tin which I'll probably use in my craft room. These are great for storing craft supplies and sorting like little bits and bobs that I use in all my different crafts that I've been doing. So it doesn't, it's not marked at all, but it's definitely older, it's really cute. So I got that and then I got this, I love this. Oh my goodness, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'm posting pictures of my progress. So it's a Bucilla, Christmas needle craft um, kit. The number is 3404. And this one is intended to be a Christmas card holder. I am probably not, I, I like to hang my cards up in archways in my house so that you can actually see the pictures on them. So I don't usually just stick them in a thing, but I'm just going to use this for decor. 
probably on one of our interior doors. I like to hang things on the interior doors. So I will show you the progress that I've made. And I do it. Um, my daughter is a dancer. And so while she's in ballet, I just do this. So, so that is where I'm at with it so far. Ow, oh, I just stabbed myself with the needle. So, anyway, so basically like all of these will be little pieces of felt and the felt, the pieces of felt get layered and layered, you know, and then eventually I'll do beading and sequin work on it. So, and it goes really quickly. And I like this for doing at like dancing school much better than cross stitch because cross stitch is very isolating. Like you have to concentrate and like count. Um, but this I can just like, cause you're just doing whip stitches and slip stitches. Um, so it's really easy to just kind of like do that while you're sitting and chatting with the mom. So that's fun to do. So that is my product progress there. And, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see my progress as I go along. I've been posting pictures. Okay. Now I, I don't know what was happening the other day, but I found so many shiny bright and other glass, um, ball ornaments. So I'm going to go through those cause some of them are very different. So these didn't come in this box, but I found this box separately. This is a really old shiny bright box. Like it doesn't even have the clear top. So I did think that was really cool. And I do have the bottom, but again, the ornaments that I'm about to show you, I just stuck in here for the haul. Some of these say shiny bright, some of them do not. That's fine, they're all just really cool. So here are some of the ones that do not say shiny bright, but I've not ever seen this before. It says night before Christmas, it's hot pink. Let me see if I can get the light to not be so glary. Well, I'm in the window, so it's a little, a little challenging. Nope, that's as good. Oh, that's the window. That reflection is the window showing up. So sorry about that, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, um, it says night before Christmas. And there's this graphic of Santa going down a chimney. And then there's a little kid sleeping. And he's like dreaming of Santa and his reindeer. I thought that was really cool. And then the other one that's like that one, but also does not say shiny bright, is this one. It, and it has the same graphic, but it's just a different color. So, really cool. Okay, then I got some, I forget what they're called. The ones where you, like it's, well, I only brought one out. There's actually two others of this. But um, I was just grabbed. They were not in boxes. Like they were just randomly in a bin. I can't believe they were not broken. But so I got these. And there's no mark on these. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Oh, this is a shiny bright. Look at that. Oh, it's just really faded. Shiny bright made in USA. So this is a shiny bright. Yippee skippy. So that was really cool. And then these. Um, can't tell what these say. Made in U.S. of A. Okay, so these just say made in U.S. of A. And I, this one's so dark, I can't even see what it says. But So I just thought these were really pretty. And they're going to go on my vintage tree. This is a shiny bright, and it's purple. And it just has a scene of a little child and lots of toys. It's a teddy bear, a clown and a ducky and blocks, and then a little child with a horse. And then this one, I love this one. Um, and this is also a shiny bright and it has stars and they're like glittery, like raised and glittery. So I adore these. I was so happy to rescue them because these, I can't believe they weren't already broken because the bins did not come, like when I got there, the bins had been out a while at too, so. I got two boxes of ornaments. One is 12 glass ornaments, American made glass products, and the company name is Kobe. And that's a full set. It's funny, it's the person who hung them just used thread, <laughs> which kind of makes them look terrible in there. So I'll probably take those threads off. I don't know that I'll put all of these on my ornaments tree. I might like, put the box, lean the box somewhere, but I would take the strings, the threads off of them because that does not look attractive. And they bought it from a store named Gibson. So there's the old price tag for 63 cents. 
Okay, and then these were 69 cents, clearly from the same household because they did the same thing with the thread. Oh my gosh, I love this box. And the ornaments are so cool. So again, I don't know if I'll hang them all separately or if I'll keep them in their box and display them. I haven't decided yet, but I just think they're really cool. The last thing I got is one of these super tacky um, that I absolutely adore. <laughs> Christmas garlands. Oh my goodness, it's all tangled. Hold, hold on. Oh dear. I did get it untangled, but then it got, got itself all wrapped and around itself again. Okay, so it's this garland and it has sleds and reindeer all along it. So. And I love this. I'm definitely hanging this up somewhere. Okay, and that is it for my haul. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna insert some footage of some friend mail that I got that I'm already using around my house. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the light switch. I got this light switch in the mail from a friend and I just adore it. I put it right into my craft room. I don't know if that's why she sent it, but that's where I'm using it. And I think it looks great. I got this big Holly Hobby doll in the center and with the green bonnet and she was put out in the 80s as a special Christmas edition. She is just darling. Look at her boots. I just love her. And she sits here on the bed with my other Holly Hobby dolls. Well, this is actually an Amy doll that's Holly Hobby's best friend. And then this is Holly Hobby here. So, And I got a bunch of vintage linens from someone else. And she sent me ones that she had gotten when her mom or her grandma passed away. And she sent me this Christmas apron, which I absolutely adore. And we actually have already used it um, when we made cookies last week. And it's hanging here in my kitchen. It'll come out for a better showing during the holiday season. The other thing I wanted to show you that's already on display are these turkey salt and pepper shakers. It's two sets. And I think they're absolutely adorable. And I have them here with my other salt and pepper shakers on my vintage soda crate um, in my dining room through Thanksgiving. They will be here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just show you some highlights from the mail that I have received. I got this little duck planter. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh. Look at his face. He's adorable. He's definitely staying here in the craft room. And then this one, whoo! There's a penny in it. Um, I also got, it's another planter. This one, I'm going to see if I can somehow put a Christmas tree, use this as like um, a, the base of a Christmas tree to have in here. I mean, not permanently alter it, but use like poster putty to stand up a small Christmas tree or maybe a bottle brush tree. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but some kind of Christmas tree um, and put it in this room. I thought that would be really cute. So I got those two. Then, oh my goodness. You know, I have this, my grandmother's vintage vanity here, and I only had three knobs. Well, now I have four. It was a perfect match. So I'm so excited to put this onto the vanity and have a fourth knob. And then I got this awesome, which I don't have, new to my collection, Moon Cookie Cutter with a blue handle. This is the first one I have with a blue handle. I've never seen that. So that was a very cool gift. I got this Holly Hobby. Um, pillow form um, pattern. I'm going to sew it up and turn it into a pillow, pillow for this room. So I'll just get my machine out and that'll be real easy and it gives you the sewing line. You just have to snip the edges so that it curves properly. It's gonna be great. So thank you. I love that. Okay, now I have another box I'm going to show you and then I, these are, these again are just highlights from like lots of people but that's why this is all just kind of lumped together so if some of your things look like they're in with other people's things that's why i just kind of collected some of the, some of the things i just automatically put out and then some of the things i kept aside so i could show you because they're more for like summertime and i'm not going to put them out right now but i'm gonna i wanted to show them before i pack them up so i got these strawberry items this is so cute this one it says jasco 1981 and it's a girl in a bonnet with, oh my gosh strawberries on her bonnet 
says Jasco Taiwan. And then this looks so similar to, I had bought myself two coffee mugs and a little crock. And this looks really similar. It's not the same company, but it looks really similar. So I'm going to um, wind up putting all of those things together. So that was funny to receive that. I was like, hey, is this the same pattern? But it's not. Okay, then I also got, oh, this goes with, sorry. This goes with that. Those are those so gorgeous. The only difference is the one I got myself has like butterflies in between the little sprigs of strawberries. So very similar. Okay, then I also got some molded candles, which you know I adore. I got these, which I'll put out with my summertime goodies, all my strawberry stuff. Then, oh, and I got these, a set of these. I got this flower frog, which is different than other ones that I have because it has this big open center. So I don't know if like you're meant to put a candle in there and then flowers around it. I'm not entirely sure, but I thought it was really cool. And look how gorgeous that is just sitting there without anything in it. Like that's why I love, it's so pretty. So this needs to be like elevated on a tray where you can see through the glass. Cause it's just, it's like a cool prism of sorts. So that was really cool. I got another little angel for my collection. So, and her wing, I don't know if it broke in the mail or what, but I do have it. You know, if the person just sent it to me, it's in this box um, somewhere. And I am going to make that repair. I just thought she's so adorable. And you know, I don't ever mind brokenness. So she'll go on the shelf here and she'll get a little repair and be good as new. Oh, she's so cute. They are, those angels are so cute. Oh, it's Napco, not Lefton, Napco. Very cute. Okay, then I also got, and I just had the lid, um, some Lusterware, whoopsie. That was pretty. This little angel. Isn't she darling? She's going to go in an assemblage for sure. So cute. Or maybe for now, I'll just stick her on my shelf. And I got these gorgeous Lusterware salt peps. And I got this. Oh my gosh, I got two of these. I'm just going to hold one up for Easter time. They're eggs. Pink ceramic. But that was just gorgeous. So there's two and the other one, the flowers are yellow and purple and this is like yellow and white. Those were so pretty. Got this for my junk journaling. And some more molded candles in strawberry shape, which I don't have in this really cool tin. Woo! Oh, I have to show you these. Oh my gosh. For Halloween. Oh, aren't they so cute? It's a witch salt and pepper. And this one has two holes. This one has three. So they're the same except the brooms are going in opposite directions. Oh my gosh. I think they're so cute. So cute. Oh, and this. Oh my gosh. For Easter time. That was so cute. And it's just, it's made in China, but it's really different because it's tall and has a luster to it. I love it. So all of these things will be packed into my various holiday uh, boxes, tubs in my garage. I also got this. This is all. This is out on display in my um, living room. So I just think it's so cute and cool. Um, I'm gonna put a little something in it for Christmas time. It's like a. I know it's not a partridge, but we're like it's like a partridge on a pear or something. So um, I just think it's really neat looking. So that goes out in my living room, and I love the colors of it. I also got these. I love these and these are going to be great in the summer and spring um, with, out with all my strawberry stuff. So I have canisters that I can switch out. Just love those. Oh my goodness. And here's the lid. And let's see, this one was a Knott's Berry Farm cookie canister. And this one says Potpourri Press, Greensboro, North Carolina, made in USA. Oops. 
It's upside down. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm going to go ahead then um, get myself together and show you the box of Christmassy stuff that came from Sweden. Some of the things are already out of the box. Maria, I'm sorry if they don't turn up here. I'm showing you most of what she sent me. Um, but some of the things I've already put away or they're um, in other parts of my house. But this is one of the things she sent. It is so beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's a strawberry piece. It's like a table square, I guess, maybe. That's how I'm going to use it. Beautiful. Look at that stitching. Just And I mean, the back is like basically as pretty as the front. Look at that. My um, embroidery and cross stitching does not look that nice, I can tell you. She sent me a bunch of these, like paper things she said to decorate with. Aren't these Santas beautiful? I'm going to turn the light away. I think the sunlight will be plenty. Well, see, that's the reflection from the window. It's real bad right now. But... Aren't those cool? And this one. So there's a guy, there's one in red and then there's one in blue. Oh, I think these are beautiful. I can picture these framed, like um, just on a white, like a cream background in a frame with some embellishments on the frame. I think that is probably what I will do. She sent me a gnome. His hat came off. I need to replace it. I'm not replace it. Repair him. Um, it's a little Tomta gnome. Cute. Okay. She sent me this. I have one of these in smaller. Oh, isn't that adorable? I love this thing. Oh my gosh. This is definitely going on against the back of one of my black shelves I was telling you about because that's going to look really cool against the black. These are so cute. Oh, and the container. It's Avon. And then oh, she made these for me. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know if she made them for me, but she made them and sent them to me. Oh my gosh. Aren't they gorgeous? There's that pair. This pair. I actually was going to wear these today and I just didn't get around to putting them on. Gorgeous. And then these, holy cow, are just beautiful. They are my colors. The colors that I decorated my craft room with, that aqua and pink, so pretty. Love those. Okay. Then she sent me some vintage um, postcards or cards. This one, she's and she translated them for me. She said, this one says, Merry Christmas, God Jewel. And this just says, Happy Birthday in English. And this one says, Gott nicht ar. I'm sure I just really botched up the pronunciation of that, but I don't speak Swedish, so. <laughs> and this one says, Happy New Year. Isn't that adorable? Holy cow. So cute. So I'll definitely be putting those out, probably in some flower frogs. And a candle hugger, another candle hugger. I think there's two of them. Maybe there's only one, I can't remember. I love this guy. This is like classic Tomto with that big hat. So cute. I'm not even going to put him back in the box. I don't want him to get broken. These were all wrapped. I had to like wrap, unwrap them ahead of time. Oh my gosh, this little guy is adorable. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Look at his big hat. On a swing. So cute. Isn't he so cute? I love him. She sent me that. Oh, that's his bum. <laughs> she sent me him. Oh my goodness. I love him. He's so cute. I don't have any knee hugger elves. He has like a ceramic face and I just think he's so cute. Okay. So that is my haul today and my friend mail that I received. Thank you so much for watching. And the next video I post will probably be on Thursday. It's going to be a Christmas DIY followed by thrifting hauls this weekend. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.